is I think a brain can be more thinking or a brain can be more emotional. And there's a certain amount of variation between a very emotional brain and a more thinking brain. At what point do you put a label on it? And I found this very interesting article called Solitary Mammals as a Model for Autism. Now, certain animals are really social. Cattle are really social. Lions are really social. But then you take bears. And OK, let's go back to the cat family. Lions are social. Tigers and leopards are solitary. And so if tigers and leopards were people, they'd probably be labeled autistic. See, there's a lot of variation. Now, obviously, if somebody has no speech, autism is a very big continuum. Yes, there is a point where there's a definite disability. But I don't think we'd have this technology that we're talking on right now without some autistic characteristics. Because the social people aren't going to want to take the time to figure out how to make video conferencing work. They'd rather be social.